hello guys welcome back to my channel and for another video as you can tell by the title today i'm flat ironing my hair here are my results and if you'd like to see how i got these results then just keep on watching this video also guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see future uploads like comment and share this video with your friends and family okay on to the video so here in this clip my hair has been previously blow dried and this is day three I didn't get to flat iron it the same day so here I'm just adding some African shea butter to my hair because it dried out because I had it um, for so long without so after I did that blow out video I did not do anything else to my hair I just had it you know just as you said for three days so I'm just adding the shea butter to add a little, you know, sheen to my hair and to moisturize it a bit. So I'm just parting out a little section here. So all I added was the shea butter and I'm just using my flat iron. This is a Stella flat iron. And what I'm doing here, I'm just um, using my fingers to part the hair because um, as you can see by the previous video I did do a blowout with my fingers so I did not want to cause any damage so I use my fingers first to part the hair and then I run the flat iron on my hair and then I do it a second time after I have detangled So after I have flat ironed each section of here, I then go ahead and trim the ends where it looks thin to me. And this is the main reason I flat iron my hair. I do this once a year so I can trim my hair. Yeah. And so we move on to the next section. So all I did here, so remember that my hair was blow dried with my fingers. I did not use a comb. You can check that video out after you have finished watching this video. So um, I had it for three days wrapped up so it got a little bit um, tangled so I'm just using my fingers to finger comb to you know kind of remove the tangles and then I just run the flat iron over my hair once after I have finger detangled and now that I have the hair stretched I then go ahead with this um, tail comb or as you call it I think rack tail is it rack tail comb <laughs> so I use that to now go in to make sure all the tangles are out and as you can see my finger actually does a wonderful job because a comb is able to pass through my hair after I have finger detangled when washing and blow dry when I blow dried my hair so now I'm just passing the flat iron over my hair doing the chase method and as you can see here my hair is pretty much straight and things to note I live in Jamaica so I know for sure like in a matter of <laughs> minutes my hair will turn in a big old poof you know but I wanted to do this to trim my hair so and to show you guys you know what my hair would look like flat iron so here once again I'm going ahead to section the hair with my fingers and I'm just using my fingers to detangle to ensure that I got all the knots then I pass the flat iron over my hair stretching the hair with my fingers and then I go in with my comb to ensure that I get all the knots out. So this is what happens in real life with 4C natural hair. You know, it get tangled sometimes, but you just have to take your time to remove the knots and tangles, even after you have blow dried. So I'm going ahead to do the chase method now that I've finally detangled that section. Next, I'll be trimming my ends and I'm just looking for the parts that look thin. And that's it. And we repeat the process 
for the rest of this video so i'll just speed up the video to show you guys you know the process of me straightening As you can see, my hair started to poof all up already, so I just used the fat iron to pass through it. And after I've completed the section, I use uh, olive oil hair polish to add some sheen. And now I'm just continuing the process to this section here. So enjoy as I show you my whole entire process of straightening my 4C natural hair. I must say guys, as you can see on my face, I was pretty much tired. This took me about two hours to do. Yes, it was a very long time, but you know, it's worth it in the end, I guess. You have straight hair for a couple of minutes, only before it turns into a poof. But yeah, I really love the results. So now I'm on to my final section of here. And we are finally done. After two hours. No, it was very hot. That's why I'm sweating so much in this video. Right now it's so hot here, it's not even funny. I was surprised that it didn't e even poof up more, but you know, it's still looking poofy. So because I had twisted the hair, it had um, gotten a bit wavy. So I'm just using the flat iron just to straighten these waves out. a bit of sheen I'm just gonna use my olive oil hair polisher and just I'm just putting a little bit on the hair and guys we have come to the end this is the result from me flat ironing my hair it's not bone straight but that's not really what I was trying to achieve or at least I would have loved to have that but the main reason was for me to trim my hair but guys I really love the results 
not every day I have my hair like this. It's very manageable. I just love it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you did like it. Share with your friends and family. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video, which will be a lunch video. Bye, guys.